Hi, I'm Al from AR Smart Systems and today we're creating a point-to-point -point link so we can have a internet connection from one building sent to another uh, without using a, a long cable which can cause issues. So the point-to-point -point system we're going to be installing today is the TP-Link CPE 510s and we've got two of these uh, one is going to be connected to the main property, which will be our AP, and one will be connected to the cabin, which will be our client. And this will give us a wireless data connection between the main house and the cabin. And this will mean that the cabin can connect to the main house internet, which is currently running on a 4G system. Here is the cabin that's going to be turned into an office that we need to get an internet connection to. And we're going to be adding a point to point AP to this mast here and we're going to be adding a client receiver on the cabin. So we've now installed our client point to the outbuilding. This is the client and this is going to be communicating with the AP or the access point which is attached to the property. Okay so we've finished aligning the AP and the client. Uh, I can see that we've got some communication here uh, so I've actually tidied up this end because I know that the alignment is good. So now it's just time to head down to the cabin and check our connection. So we've configured both our AP and our client. Uh, we're down at the cabin, which is about 120 metres away from the main property. So what we've installed here, and this is only temporary because it's going to be turned into an office. So the cable from our client is running uh, here. It's running into a PoE adapter. That is then running into a small switch, which is then running into our TP-Link Amada uh, Wi-Fi access point. So now we are connected. We can open up our web browser. Uh, and we can now che check our internet connections. So now we know we have um, a good connection. We know that uh, the client and the AP are talking to each other. They're locked to each other, so they shouldn't disconnect. And we now have uh, an internet connection down here in the cabin. And we're getting up to 30 meg down and about 30 meg up. Obviously slight fluctuations on that, but we expect something like that uh, when running over Wi-Fi. So there we go. We now have our client and our access point installed. We now have them communicating with each other. So the last thing to do is just to finish off the install, get all of the cables nice and tidy, get everything clipped in and secured, and that's this client done. 